How's it going? I didn't yell at this time. Is that better? Thank you. Thank you. I I I just I don't know. I I I always thought of the show as being like my cheap late night show ripoff. So I like to, you know, imagine that there's an audience and people come out. So the last time we did it, I was going for that, you know, a big yeah. loud. I didn't want to startle yeah. you this time and then and throw everything off. So I hope that yeah. I hope that was better. Yeah. How you been? How you been since we last talked? I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. How are you? I've I've been great. What you, have you been working on any projects specifically? Any videos since we last talked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing the doing doing the thing. <laughs> I can't tell. I just realized I can't tell. Um, I can't tell which. Uh, I, I can't tell which screen you have. Uh, which is which screen is the active screen? I just realized. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I can't tell. You're doing camera switches, but I can't tell which. Uh, I can't tell when I'm, when I'm on screen and when I'm not. Gotcha. I mean, to be honest, it's sort of random. Sometimes I do shots of me being like, mm -hmm, reacting, you know, okay. kind of producing. Yeah. But most of the time, yeah. if you're talking, it's going to be it's going to be you on screen. OK, but don't think about it. You know what I mean? Fair, fair I, and square. It's uh, I have to look at myself this whole time because I have like the multi view of all the cameras. And if I start to look yeah. at myself, I start thinking like, man, yeah. I look like a fucking idiot. I need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, can you share anything? Like you know, you say you're working on some stuff. Can you share anything specific? Like any any? And everyone's so everyone is so good on their thousandth show, one of these types of shows. Yeah, everyone is so damn good on their like about around a thousand or two thousand. That's when it really starts to kick in. Well, this is the this is the fortieth episode, so we have nine hundred and sixty to go. You've done forty. I've you are number forty. Okay, I thought you had done more than forty. I it felt like I had done more than forty, but no, I yeah. did. I did thirty the first year I did it. I think, I, yeah, I, I did exactly thirty the first year that I did it, um, and then the, I took a year off because of work. And then when I came back, I kind of knocked out ten in a matter of uh, a couple months. So mm -hmm. we're at forty now. Hopefully, I'm trying to minimize the time that it goes between like from 30 to 40 to 40 to 50 to 50 to 60 i'm trying to get them all as fast as possible and hope that it just kind yeah. of grows exponentially yeah. but yeah who knows um so like i know you said the last time that we talked a big thing that you wanted to kind of mention that we didn't really go enough into the was... clips messed me up and and i should have known because all shows do clips right i i know that mm -hmm. obviously right you got the whole thing and then you do your clips for some reason, it knocked it knocked me out. It just yeah, it knocked me out to remember. Oh yeah, he's got to do the clips, and then you got to and then I just I yeah, couldn't I couldn't believe it. What about the, not that you shouldn't have? What about the clips? Is it that that throws you off? Well, I guess I'm a control freak, so I guess the fact that I couldn't do the clips myself. But the thing about it there is, I definitely don't want to watch the show. I don't want to watch myself, so it's kind of. I was kind of in a tight spot, so I just figured, yeah, you know, you got to do it. If you watch the clips, do you feel like you would end up being like overanalyzing it and then just never oh, doing it? I'd be horrified. I'd be horrified. I, that's literally what happens every time. Because when I cut, I cut a clip out for YouTube, mm -hmm. and it's basically just it's raw. Like it's just that section from when I ask yeah. a question till when the question's answered. Basically, yeah. you know, give or take, that's what it is. Yeah. But when I cut yeah. it down, so when I cut it down for instagram and tiktok and all of that i have to remove all of the times that i say um and like and all the needless information that i put in the questions and okay. i'll tell you that gives you an absolute identity crisis because i'm like what the heck? like why, why can't i form it in a way that makes sense why do i have to go through word by word to make it logical and get it down to something right. and that is something i've had to okay. kind of grow grow with okay in a sense that might be taking it out of context because something i'm saying might be uh, reacting to those little bits that you took out i've tr yeah. trust me there's a whole thought process that i have to put into it yeah. go, like if i take out this work d word does it change the context and that's why yeah. to be honest editing a minute video is so much harder and it takes it, it might take me i've had to take two and a half hours for me to cut a like eight minute clip and get one section of it that's a minute long because i have to go exactly what can i put in it that makes it as quick as possible, that gets to the point, but doesn't change the context at all. And I've had to think like, yeah. okay, if I do this, I'll save three and a half seconds, but I'm gonna change the context and it just won't be right. And then it ends up being this whole, <laughs> to lack of a better word, yeah. circle jerk of being like weighing the options. So I had, I had a couple strategies for myself just moving forward. One is to answer a different question than you asked. 
every time. Okay. And then the others, and then another thing I figured, I just figured I should probably just talk about the clips for the entire show. That way I, I, I know that no matter, I, this is my way of getting a little bit of control so that I know that no matter what clip you take, I'm going to be talking about uh, the clips. So, but I, I now, now I'm thinking I'm going to ask you this and you're going <laughs> to answer something else. But what is it about? The, why do you need that control? Is it because you don't want to put? Oh, I don't know. Do you think? I don't it's, know. Do, is it like a concern that if you? I was born that way. But do you think it's like you? Re, if you relinquish that control, what's going to happen is that someone else is going to take hold of it and you know, portray think, you in a way you don't know. like. I, somebody said. Somebody said something right after the show. I think it came from. I think it came from a clip on the show. Someone said something implying that I think something about whether the so, something implying that I think the. Either the lyrics are more important than the non-lyrics or the other way around. I can't remember which it was, but something somebody said something indicating that perhaps they had thought that I was trying to say that the music was more important than the lyrics or something like that, or the lyrics was more important than the music. But like I really thought I hammered home pretty hard that it's like exactly equal symbiosis 50-50, can't live without each other kind of thing. That was my point that I felt like I was making. I, I feel like someone... That, I think someone misunderstood who, it because we, I mean, yeah. I, I don't want to tell you specifics because I know you don't want to hear comments, but most but of the to people, be fair, I, most people were I saying how they, the, they liked how you were explaining how there is no hierarchy. It's oh, that they good. are okay. all well, they, That's, that's good. To be fair. I mean, I didn't watch the clips and I didn't watch the, I, you know, cause I, 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 I cause I didn't. Some people are just stupid, Bill. They're gonna no matter you could say the sky is blue. I know that's like the oldest mm-hmm. metaphor, but you could say the sky is blue yes. and they're gonna be like, Well, I don't know about that. I think he said the sky is red. Yeah. So do you think that it's but do you think is it a concern for you that if you relinquish that control that someone's going to m- portray you in a way that you don't like? Is there is no, that I part just, of it? No, I just think I, I think it's a I'm just a control freak, honestly. Mm-hmm. Whether I want to admit it or not. If I were doing clips, I would want to, you know, try some some things. I would like how long is it? There's got to be an average length that a clip typically is, right? Five to ten minutes on YouTube. Right. So how about try some try some lengths that are drastically outside that range? Is that drastically drastically outside that range? Like almost the full episode, just but to, not just to loosen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how long? Like like fifty nine minutes for a clip, or um, you know, one second. For a clip i did like the last <laughs> one second <laughs> just to loosen up a little bit you know just to like just figure out what the rules are and then just wiggle them around a little bit just to convince yourself that you're really here you know i you said something like that i i think you you mentioned about trying different things that are drastically different just to kind of knock you out of your comfort zone and that's something that actually stuck with me because i am very much prone to having my comfort zone i like to have this ritual uh-huh. i mean even doing this like i know this starts at eight so when I wake up every day, I think, right. at this time, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to shower at this time, so that way my skin isn't all red from the shower by this. T- like, it's a whole thing, and I, I do like the idea of making myself get out of my comfort zone, and comfort zone in that sense. Uh-huh. Because, again, it's also uh, a control thing. I think I have it a little bit less so than you do because I have done it so much. I've kind of forced myself out of, you know, kind of relinquishing things. But it is something yeah. that I, I do have to deal with sometimes. Well, I mean, let's say, I mean, like, for example, my comfort zone would be screwing up the rules on purpose. So, so that would be that would be me being in the comfort zone. So it's is to screw up the rules on purpose. So it's it can be out of control in a sense where you can knock things off. But if you're the person who did it, it comforts you in a way maybe or maybe not i don't really know actually you know what that might be true and you've always really and, and that's always been something that you've, you've had to work with i think so i don't recall ever like really doing any uh, significant uh collaborative thing with uh this better not be in the clips okay uh, <laughs> I, won't, I, won't, I won't put this in the clips i'm honest i will be i will you know i try to get that's one thing that i i don't like about shows that do this is that i have no problem having someone on the show and have them talking about something personal i don't think that's ex- exploitative because it's in a context where the person knows what they're saying what i don't like 
is when someone tries to I, I, like specifically with a show like where you have interviews they cut it down and they take it and they try to get a sensational title and that's of course okay you want to oh, make no. you want sense. you want to make something look as as ex- interesting as possible but when people take out little things and then they tight I just they title it in a way where the yeah. only concern is their own gain when it's specifically sure. regar- regarding something that's not the easiest for someone to talk about of course if someone's saying like uh, I made this movie and then they put a really sensational title on that. Who cares? Like the, you know, the person yeah. making a movie is not their grandmother dying. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, it, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not, I mean, you're not a bad person if you do that. I mean, everyone does that. They, people do that. They probably think they have to do that. I mean, from a viewer standpoint, it ends up being a little bit over time. It degrades the credibility of, um, I don't know, over time, like you kind of stop wanting to click on stuff that looks like that but you know in a lot of ways it's though, better, it's just it's better not be in the clips <laughs> it's just sometimes i don't know when people when when people try to just only take something for their own advantage and they don't take into account the fact that yeah they were talking on a show but the person on that show is an actual person that is going to right. see this um yeah. i guess in, except for your case where you're specifically trying not to see it actually that's something i wanted to ask about when your own content not specifically yeah. like being on a show, but if right. you're on YouTube and I mean, it's, yeah. when you have 160 million views, you're going to have it recommended to you. Does mm-hmm. that throw you off at all when you see your own videos showing up on your feed? Uh, usually not. I don't, I don't click on it, but it doesn't throw me off. You've never gone. So once, once you post something, do you ever go back and watch it again? If I need to check it, I'll check my own file of it. Mm. I, I won't watch it on YouTube. When was... When was the last time before we did our show that you were that you kind of relinquished that power and said, you know, I'm going to do something that isn't completely uh, in in my control? I don't recall. Because was it verified? Because I remember seeing when you did the genius verified. Oh, that's and, and terrible. That was terrible. Terrible. What's wrong with shouldn't it? Have done it? Shouldn't have done it. Why, why do you say that? Uh, because the I wish they should. Uh, they it, it was it was terrible shouldn't have done it is it because of what they did or because of how you think you were on it well let's see oh i was gonna say i wish i had a list of the questions that you had It'd be so handy oh like beforehand and times like these or like right now i'd like to see i'd like to know what the next question is to be honest i really don't have a next question i kind of oh, okay that's actually good i'm actually glad it's not written down what i have kind of refined it down to the first like 25 episodes of this were like 100 percent. i was bi- only reading and i i do i think not to toot my own horn i think i have a decent ability of reading something and making it seem like i'm not reading it but oh, that's wonderful i love it, that skill and it works out well for something like this especially since yeah. this is over zoom and I can put my questions on the screen I'm already looking at. So most of the time, except for some, there are some where it's awful. You can totally tell I'm I'm looking at something different. But generally, yeah. I can read something. But lately, I've kind of gotten to this habit of writing a bunch of questions as if I'm going to read them down. And then I just kind of, I don't memorize them, but I kind of get the gist of what I'm going for. And I have them here. I have questions. But to be honest, I've gotten to none of them. I'm just kind of, well, that's cool. it's kind of like a memory bank. In fact, in that case, I wish even more that I could see them because if, if maybe if you're not going to get to them, then maybe I could I could I could get to them. I'll send to you after all the ones that aren't like I, after. I have well, that's what what good is that? Well, I mean, am I, I am going to email them to you right now and we never touch them? It would be nice if I had them. I <laughs> to be honest, a lot of them. I are, would flip them. I would flip them and try to ask you them. What? How would I? OK, I can read you some. And how about I read you some and then you flip it and you can ask it to me? I don't know. I think it's. Eh, it's not as much fun as having them just written because then you because then you're the first one i mean are there any questions no, I, I don't think that counts are there any questions of your own that you that you want to ask me yeah i want to ask you all about doing the show and like what it's you know what it's like to, to do to do the show I've, I've yeah the the desire to do a show like this has been creeping up on me all my life and it's 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 killing me what i want to do a show like this so bad what specifically about it what would you like to know would you like to know the part where the part where two people have a conversation and that's the show and maybe some more things involved but like that's the main thing hmm. that's that's the specific part of of it that's <laughs> in particular i'm trying to think about because to be honest i don't really at the end of the day 
I have no damn clue about what I'm doing. I just kind of do it and then I kind of go numb for 45 minutes and then it's over and either I'm really happy about it or I'm really upset about it. 80% of the time I'm yeah. really upset about there's it. There's nothing That's, Yeah, there's nothing there's nothing to know. It all happens when it happens. I mean, you could do you want to practice? Cuz you could pra- I mean, if yes. you want it Okay, well let's do it. Let's pretend let's swap right now. Let's pretend okay. this is what would it be called if it were your show? I don't know. Would would it be the I, I'm I, look, I told you the desire to do this is ramping up and ramping up and ramping up and ramping up so much it's like destroying me. Okay, so but what do you also know? You know that I'm not doing it yet. So what could possibly be the reason? There must be a, some pretty strong reasons why I haven't done it. So obviously there's some huge reasons why uh, I haven't done it. Well, this is a perfect format. Let's pretend. Let's swap. Let's say we're on the Bill Wirtz show with no temporary title, no trademarks, right. anything. Let's say we're on here. The intro just ran. You know, we got yeah. original music by Bill Wirtz. It's popping off. The chat's going crazy. Right, uh, but that, that we, you, we've jumped ahead because that's not, I don't have that stuff yet. But let's just say, let's jump ahead Perfect what if, world. Like, okay, okay, okay. For example, what if I, what if it turned out I wanted to do the intro at the end? Well, then you do the intro at the end, and then you'll be right. Like, I know, but see, we don't know that yet. So you're saying, like I'm saying, you're way ahead of me, obviously, because I would have been doing it already. If I, you know. Well, here's one thing we know for a fact: there'll be you on the show. We know that. Yeah. I think that's one common thing that we can we can agree on. And then you'll ha- you'll have a guest. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe multiple. Okay. So let's say this is a circumstance. Okay. No, nothing. Between two and yeah, at least two. Uh, between two and um, yeah. It's a dress rehearsal. There's no nothing. It's just the core concept. I'm the guest. You're the host. What? Yeah. What would the first thing you would say be? Well, I don't know yet. That's what. That, that's my point. If I knew, I would have been on show one thousand by now already. So is it? Are there any things that you? In terms of that sneaking feeling, that feeling coming up, are there any things about it that you've started to feel like you're closer to taking in action about yet? Yeah. Anything specific? Yeah, the, the fact that I went on your show and I went on someone else's show and another show. I've done a couple of shows in the past uh, few weeks. How did it feel? Did you feel I every did time? Some, I did some shows. Huh? Did you feel better every time, every, like after each so one? I, I, I think it's up and down, but I mean, I, I think... I mean, I feel like science tells us that generally there's a very much like you get more comfortable over time. I mean, I think that's guaranteed in general. There'll be smaller ups and downs, but I think I think it's inevitable that it gets more comfortable as it goes on. Now that it's becoming a thing that you're focusing on, are you actively seeking? Are you going out to shows and finding them and saying, like, hey, are you just accepting more? No, no. I think for some reason I have this in the back of my mind. I feel I feel sort of a conventional wisdom, like it's rude to invite yourself over. Mm. to someone's house you know what i mean yeah i mean the- i think i don't know <laughs> no i'm not the kind of that would just do that you know that makes sense especially i mean i guess at like a uh, a television level at some point you know managers are gonna have to do that to promote movies and stuff but at this level i can i can see why you would think it's a little i kind of did last time i think i was like i don't know if i i don't i think last time on your show i do think i was a little bit probably too eager about like hey can i do it again you? I don't remember whether it was you or me or yeah. No, Bill, I was like, when you, because I remember I said it first. I said, do you want to come back in like a year? Right. But the reason I said a year, because right, I was right, like, right. And I was like, and I was, I was like, yeah, sure. I'll do it a hundred times if you want. And then I, like, I had to pause myself. I'm like, now he didn't, he didn't ask me to do it a hundred times. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that part came from me. I mean, I'll probably yeah. be dead by the hundredth episode of this at the pace I'm going anyway. But they, uh. No, I went. I asked. I, I originally asked, "Would you want to do it in a year?" Not because I thought oh, that yeah, we yeah, needed sure. a and year. Oh yeah, sure. And I probably said, "Yeah." And I probably said, "Yeah, I'd like to do freaking all the time." Well, I just didn't think that you'd want to come on so soon. So when you said you're like, "Let's do yeah, it sooner," well, and then I gave the date, and you're like, "Yes, let's do it." I was like, "Hell yeah, let's let's go for yeah. it." Yeah. You're gonna be the. You're actually the second person to ever do a a, a second episode. You're, okay, and I'm very, I'm very excited about that because that's something I'm that's, not. That's a skill that I have to do is learning how to do multiple shows with the same person because I kind of yeah. have my formula that again my routine that I fall into. This is the question that I ask at the beginning, and I try to get myself out of that. But at a certain point, 
you, I can't think I have to stop myself from thinking of the show in an overall sense, but remembering that a lot of people are just going to watch the individual episode and might never watch another show in the future. So I, yeah, that formula works in a way. Yeah. But it's, there is no formula for someone who I've already had conversations like that with, you know what I mean? I can't right. now if, today, I can't ask you, how do you make your videos? Cause we already talked about that for like 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. a, it's a Weird, weirdly, I still haven't figured it out though. I don't think anyone who does anything knows exactly what they're doing. I think no, they, they don't. Yeah. They feel like they're falling every time that they try something, even if it's, mm -hmm. you know, in the same form. Mm -hmm. Right. I, again, I still don't, <laughs> I, I don't eat most of the days before these shows because I'm so focused on it and I'm like so you know, anxious I, about it. You know what I thought of? I need camera buttons too. Like you have the camera switch buttons, mm -hmm. but I need a set of camera buttons too. I mean, that's not polite because you're the host, but I'm just thinking that would be way more fun for me if I also had camera buttons and we could. <laughs> would it be? Would it be like be a you'd have two angles of yourself, or would it be like some some? No, no, totally no, no, no. Same switcher, the same switcher, right? And you have switchers yeah. between the same two shots, but I have switcher buttons for the same two shots, and they both work. <laughs> so, the whole show you can't see it but i'm gonna do it for, for everyone watching the show will just look like this just constant flashing i just went very fast uh back and, and i was forth. gonna yeah that's and I, and that's what i was gonna yeah i was gonna say you should start getting crazy with those <laughs> well people with epilepsy i, was I don't curious think be able how to watch. fast i was i was curious how how fast could you possibly switch it is it like could you just da -da -da -da, like infinitely fast kind of so i just did it then and i'm gonna be honest i kind of got nervous because i don't know the the limitations of this software it's gonna crash. Okay. um yeah. and w I, I, I that's the great thing about that's the sad thing about digital software sometimes is that it's just weird yeah i remember there's a scene in that beatles documentary thing um from like 1969 or something and ringo star walks up to the walks behind the video camera and he takes the zoom thing which is a mechanical zoom in and out it's like a slider mm -hmm. and he just grabs it just it's like maximum in maximum out like extremely fast <laughs> uh yeah no i was curious how fast you could uh but yeah but i can't see the results so it's kind of like um, it's it made me realize i'm sad that i can't see the results of your camera switching it's like um i i think i can i have like a certain wiggle room of like in the moment i can figure stuff out but having yeah. done this for three years and you know given the fact i hate when people say given the fact um because i'm using most nice. all saved like that I also didn't. I don't think I said uh, Bill yet. I don't think I did that. That's okay. I have. To, I, feel, I feel a little bit remorseful about that because it occurred to me. My thing is, it feels weird when there's only two people in the room and someone starts saying the other person's name. But then I realized there's more than two people. See, I forgot there's like the there actually is more than two people because sometimes you say things to. It's, yeah, I, I had to some regret. I had to go. I had to. Con, con, I had to. Yeah. It's a weird balance of knowing that, like, because let's be honest. If there was no camera here, it would be weird for us. And like, let's say it was in person and there's no camera. It would be weird for us to sit at two individual chairs and look straight at each other and just talk. We would be like getting, you know, if we're doing that, we're like getting coffee or we're eating food or we're watching TV right. or something. No one just does this. No one just sits straight on and just talks to each other. So it's this balance of making that seem normal by talking in a way that, understands that there are people watching that it isn't just yeah. two people talking because if it does end up like that right. it just kind of feels like well, why are these two people just staring into each other's eyes and asking random questions <laughs> hmm. given the fact that it's interesting that you mentioned that one the one i think about is due to the fact that due to the words. fact that's five yeah due to the fact that that's five words and it literally means because yeah i've but i that's okay I think it's one of those things where, like, especially in emails, and I have yeah. to send, uh, you know, a lot of emails to book people on this show, um, that I go, oh, didn't the last email, did I say because? So I should probably say due to the fact or given the fact, you know what I mean? So I'm not just saying because, 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 or I'm not saying hello yeah. too many times and I'm throwing in a hi. It's all that stupid nonsense. It's a bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? There's a there's this one that kills me. There's there's a way you can use the word as uh -huh. people. There's a certain way that you can use the word as in in writing, and no human being on earth would ever use the word in this particular way in real life. And and a, a lot of people do it this way in 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 writing, like in formal uh, email writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't unhear it now. Like I can't. It's uh, 
Yeah. What is? What's the way? They, they use it like because. They use it like because. Like uh, and, and it's and it's usually uh, it's usually when they're telling you something unfortunate. They're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I won't be able to do this." As I something something blah blah blah. It's something that no one would actually say if they were. No in a real one conversation. on earth would use. Yeah, no one on earth would say it that way in real life. It's funny how there is there's so much difference between writing language and speaking language. Yeah, and people who. But there doesn't have to be though. And that's something that I learned about specifically when when I write questions. If I write it. I have to read it out loud as I after I write it because if I'm just looking at it, I'm going. Why yeah. I wouldn't? You know, you wouldn't say everything so perfectly. There would be some weird kind of grammatically incorrect things that I kind of have to throw into my pre-written questions so that way it doesn't seem like I'm having a regular conversation. And then yeah. I turn my head and I'm like, due to the fact that you did this in yeah. 2007, you know what I mean? It's this weird. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. something that I'm still working on. Like everything, I'm still working on it, trying to get better at it. Yeah. If you did have a show, though, like I, because you've achieved, you know, all this success and you know all these people, I, I'm assuming, just tell me if I'm wrong. Right. I'm assuming you've met a good amount of people or at least have had some kind of contact with a good amount of people who are in the specifically internet music content creation kind of industry. Yeah. So... When you start this show, is that something where you think you're going to start pulling contacts, like people that you've met because of YouTube? Well, yeah, you just mentioned, I don't know, something like a specific window of of people, right? You said, what did you say? So Internet I'm, music people. You said like something like that. I mean, that's where you started. Yeah. But I'm, I don't have the, I, it didn't occur to me to start there. So if you were to start a show, do you think? A starting place has not occurred to me typical problem generally when i'm trying to make plans and put things together it's very difficult for me to pick a particular place to draw the boundary lines other okay, than i get what you're saying all of it all of it is my go-to thing so if you don't have everything figured out you stop all of it instead of figuring it you know what i mean doing it sequentially. i would say yeah i mean my first idea would be like is there an alphabetical list of like every person on the planet by name and just start with the first person so which is a kind of unfair so I, maybe i prefer a random selection but yeah something that selects from like every living person on uh, on the planet do you think and again this might be something you've not considered do you think you would do this show live streamed like like the show is well and that might be in some ways that's in some ways that might be the good thing about that is be, in some ways that might be necessary because actually pre-recording it is sort of like a Pandora's box mm -hmm. to like infinite editing, right? So if you're going to pre-record it, then it's like, well, then I can edit it, right? And then I'll never really, and then I'll, and then it's like, yeah. Do you have, I mean, you seem to have good internet from the Could Zoom be, connection. So, I mean, it would be, it would make sense for it to do, to stream and you wouldn't then have any again, problems. Then again, right. And I'm glad you mentioned that because the problem with doing it completely live is seriously, what if something goes out? I had as that I was going to ask if that's happened to you. I bet it has. <laughs> that's funny. I don't want to say anything for, like I don't want to say who it was, but recently I yeah. I had an interview with someone who was like the coolest person ever and I was so excited and they had internet problems like the entire yeah. show and I was yeah. so sad cuz I was so I was so looking forward to it. Um and we got to some really cool stuff and I had fun talking to them. I'm just, I'm saying neutral pronouns because I don't want to insinuate if it was a, if it was a man or a woman, but um, I'm not trying to out anyone as having bad internet. But if you watch, if you watch shows in the past year, you're going to, you're going to know who I'm talking about. But it was just mm -hmm. like every, I'd say 20 seconds, the internet was freezing and yeah. it, it doesn't piss me off, but it makes me n really start to sweat because then I feel the load of all that pressure of having to push course, the show. Air and, it's yeah. yeah. And dead That's air. Hard. Oh my God is the absolute worst thing. And like right now, I think something about our internet connection, it doesn't seem to be too much latency between when I say something and you respond between, or when you say right. something and I respond, but when there's that like six seconds, you say like, so how did this happen? Oh, and then there's just Jesus. dead. Oh, it's like, I'd, yeah, no, uh, it's, so, so like a lot of delay. Even when it was online, it was a lot of delay. I'd rather shit myself in public 
than have to sit yeah, here for 45 minutes. And <laughs> Honestly, the, the, the delay we have right now is not great. I mean, it's standard. It's about standard, probably, what we have right now, but it, it's, it really bugs me. And it's never, we've never, no one has ever lived their lives without delay in conversation, conversation since, I don't know, since landlines. Like, ever since cell phones, like, there literally is no, there's always a delay of maybe half a second or one second. Are you if using you get, one time? I have one time, if you ever, I don't think there's any landlines left anymore, but if you ever get a chance to talk on an actual land phone, I guess the other person would have to be on one too. But if you've ever had that experience, it's wild. It sounds like they're speaking into your ear. Like it's completely instantaneous. You say it, they hear it, they say it. It's like, it feels so much quicker. Yeah, I guess because it's only electrical audio signals so there's nothing else slowing it down. Something, yeah. It's it's not, they don't, well, they don't have to send it to the satellite and da, 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 something about it is way, way quicker. If everything was fiber optic and it was, I mean, that's how a lot of stuff, like, in terms of audio for, like, I know, not Broadway shows, but I think, like, the Emmys and stuff like that, the band might be in a completely separate building. But since they're not going through the internet, they're going actually through yeah. the different fiber optic cables in the building. It's all, it's, well, it's literally the speed of light. The problem yeah. becomes, even if I had, like, I have an interview coming up um, with, uh, do you know who Billy Cobham is? The drummer? Yeah. So, yeah. Billy Cobham is going to be on. Um, and it's actually going to be at four in the afternoon because that's uh, it's like at nighttime where he is and he's in Europe. And yeah. I'm interested to see how that is, because I've only done one other one with someone in Europe and the connection is steady. But at the end of the day, it can only travel the speed of light. And yeah. it's it's not just the speed of light. It's the speed of light plus all these other factors. So I'm going to be interested to see how, no, I how think that it's happens. The same. I mean, I, it's going to be the same. Well, next- international conversation. I, I've I've had plenty of international conversations over over this same software, and it's it, it's about the same. Okay, that's good to know. Are you wired in or using Wi Fi? Wi wired in. Oh, I am not on a wired in okay. terms of the. Yeah. That's actually an, an, another Thanks. thing. Thanks. If you ever a little hint that good I to know. I didn't think about uh, until this is going to sound so stupid. But when I went home, I stayed with my parents when the pandemic first happened. And uh, I wanted to play Minecraft with my friends like a, you know, normal grown yeah. man does. Uh, and I was on Wi-Fi for the first time where I was using LAN up up until then, which is just like an Ethernet cable. And yeah. what I didn't realize is because the way that Wi-Fi works is it's sending a very, very high pitched audio signal that is then like taken. It's transcribed by the receiver and turned into ones and zeros binary. But yeah. because of that interference of the fact that it's sound, it adds latency that there wouldn't be if it was just a straight wire. Because with a cable, yeah. it's just going straight to your router and then out to whatever. I don't know if it's going up to a satellite or if it's going to. I don't really understand how the Internet works past mm-hmm. that point. But yeah, cable's mm-hmm. always faster, even if the even if you have fast Internet, because Wi-Fi always adds yeah. latency. Of course, the obvious thing is to get both people in the same room. I mean, that's really that was a big holdout for me in terms of like what I would really need in order to feel comfortable doing, uh, talk interviews. I mean, is I just, I just want the people to be in the same room. I just don't want it to be remote just because of the delay. Cause there's always a delay and all the other factors. It is. But then you have to, at a certain point you have to just give up on that. Cause that's just not the way the world is anymore. It's kind of, in a lot of ways, it's only a, a, possible for people who have the money to <laughs> fly people out like i know joe course, rogan yeah. joe rogan can yeah. fly someone to like when he moved from california to texas i was like how the hell is he gonna do this and i remember he got a hundred million dollar paycheck from spotify so he can mm-hmm. ship people into the show fly them in austin mm-hmm. keep them up I'm, I'm assuming that's what he does because how else are you getting mm-hmm. people going to austin texas like may a, a list celebrities every single day but mm-hmm. um my goal with this show is to get it to a point get the a list celebrities well not specifically that. I mean, that would be great if, uh, you know, if Brad Pitt sees the vibe chamber and says, you know, I think I'm going to skip the Tonight Show today and I'm going to go in the vibe chamber. Yeah, um, it happens, man. People people work their way up and it, it 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 happens. I mean, you gave me a shot and you're I'm thinking about I'm thinking about Barack Obama going on the Mark Martin, Mark Marin show. That was pretty crazy. And Brad Pitt. I think he had Brad Pitt and Leo DiCaprio at the same time, I think. I mean, you are by far in terms of people knowing your name the most successful i'm definitely more famous I'm, I'm definitely about i'd say i'm about equally famous as brad pitt i would say <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know i agree except i don't think i don't think brad pitt makes as good uh, good of songs as you do 
We'll see about that. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to talk shit on Brad Pitt. Uh, but I mean, you gave me a shot. You just, you know, you happened to respond to my email, and I'm. No one is gonna say like, "Oh, the vibe chamber emailed me." I'm gonna got to do that. So I appreciate you, you know, extending a, a leg, even though I know you said it. You know, it's it's something that you'd been looking to do. But I appreciate you picking me out of the weeds and deciding to come on. You know, hopefully, infinite times in the future. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 I don't know. It's like, I figure maybe to talk about music and stuff. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still waiting to get to that thousandth show. We'll get there. Because that's really the only time people really become any good, mostly. I mean, but it doesn't have to, you know, but the thing is, I don't think it has to be necessarily, you know, I I don't, you know, a thousand of one particular thing, but just that the, because you can get better within five minutes. Because you can learn yeah. something every five. That happens to me all the time. I go, oh, my last ten minutes, I was doing this a lot, so I'm going to yeah. try not to do that. So there's, you know, there's, it's all everything's a learning opportunity. Yep. Bill works. Yep. There you go. I said Bill. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind. Um, one thing I wanted to ask though. So you, you, after, you know, talking about how you had this feeling that you want to make this. Are we? Show. Are we? Is this? This is. This is coming off the, off the sheet. I'm sure. Right. This is something that I thought about, but it's not written down. Is really? that okay? okay? Of course it is. I thought I, I thought I I thought I had it. I thought that was that sounded like paper. Well, it's just like I have like my my mental notes. Some of them are fully written out and fleshed out. To be honest, I don't think I've even touched the any other. Of them. The other reason, actually, it was my own shortcoming that made me assume that it was paper because I felt myself running out of things to say, mm-hmm. and then after a pause, then you were forced to say something, and that's usually when the paper comes in that's usually when you have to go to the paper so i thought i had driven you to the to the paper well it's right there. no to, to be honest sometimes it's just because a lot of times when i ask a question i like to let the person talk until they've absolutely run out and not try to right. necessarily jam myself in and depending on the yeah. mood i'm in i'm better or worse at that it changes every single week um but sometimes yeah. you, you know just when... hit, sometimes you hit a point where your point is done and there's no reason for me to try to get more out of you because otherwise you're just going to end up trying to you know hit the, the word count the the technical ability to for both people to be able to smoothly and effectively kind of interrupt each other in a good way kind of just i think that is so much better when the people are actually there like i think it's like that's it actually a lot of people probably don't realize this because so much of our lives now are are, you know like on digital remote conversations but it's like i i think it's pretty severe I think I think what you lose it just happened. It just happened. And now we're playing like telephone because now you have to I you have to wait until I stop talking and then another second. The goal is to I found at least on my end is to if that happens like I know obviously now we're specifically talking about it but if let's say that's not the topic is when that happens you don't mention it. Like you just let it and you just keep going because if if you're not if someone's talking about something and then you like go like oh 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 and I've done that before. I've been like, oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I find if I do that and then I can see that, you know, there's that delay that's causing that problem. I just kind of shut up and let them keep going. Otherwise, right. again, it becomes that that telephone. I know. I think, pe- honestly, I think it would be good for people to just use a lot of hand signals. You know what I mean? Like, I think like this kind of stuff, like when you have something to say, I'm starting <laughs> to think that might be, I'm serious, like in, in general conversation, like. I'm starting to think that might be more useful. People don't do that as much in real life because it's so much easier to interrupt each other. Mm-hmm. But I'm starting to think it might be really useful in, in digital conversations, online video conversations. So to really just do stuff like that. Yeah, specifically like, like when you're done with say. something. No, when the other person's talking when you have something to say. Oh, so they... Okay. I guess that that makes sense. It, I've started doing that recently. It does seem to, 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 to be useful. Anyway. That's a good tool to use, especially because with... Uh, like in this circumstance with my camera switcher, I don't have to show myself if I don't want to. So I could be off I can't camera even going like I think it's like I think it's a little I'm feeling kind of like it does put me at a disadvantage. Well, just it, it, it makes me feel a little bit helpless that I can't see the camera switches. Yeah. And that would be that is something that they would see like on a television uh talk show. They do have monitors that show the final output. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, in addition to having probably every angle individually, they what they would usually have is that on in front on every single camera, you'd have the prompter where the camera lens is, and then below that, um, there's a monitor hanging off it that has the current. They don't usually have a multicam specifically from the guest view, yeah. but it would be uh, 
they would have the camera that they're looking at and it would just be the what's called i mean and digitally it's like the program signal i don't know what an actual director would do it but it's the final signal that the audience is actually seeing they'll have that with a red light on whatever camera is live so it helps them know where to go but i don't think they see specifically a multi-cam because mm -hmm. in most cases i think that would be disorienting to people yeah but you know i have one and it is disorienting a lot of times <laughs> but <laughs> right. hopefully people don't notice well you know you get better at it so you had a you was there there was a question that you were going oh, I was, for, I well i was going to ask you had been having this this feeling about wanting to do a show was mm -hmm. that why you ended up doing h3h3 back in the day but was that like five years ago you know i don't know if i i don't know if that's i don't know if uh i don't recall doing that show that you've wiped that from the memory the other one that we talked about me doing and i and i was talking about doing that i don't recall doing that one either i just remembered but do you do you so I don't. <laughs> nothing nothing from it uh which one <laughs> bill you gotta give me something <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Okay. I did we, your show. You're, this, is, this is the only one I remember. You remember? I I appreciate that. That means a lot. Yeah. At least at the very least, if people remember being here, I, I appreciate I'm that. Th I mean, I think, I honestly think, I mean, like, you know, having, I don't I don't know how many people, like, I think, honestly, multiple hosts is it can be really a special thing. Multiple hosts? Multiple hosts, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is something good. That's why daily, I mean, new morning news shows do that all the time because it's a work in yeah. form, format. Yeah. Yeah. Would you do that with a with another host? Would you consider I think that? that'd be fantastic. I'd be fantastic to have two hosts. Well, Bill, fantastic. if you ever want a co-host and you don't want to pick someone famous, but instead. Well, a random don't YouTuber. don't don't make me lose sleep at night thinking that I asked you to uh, thinking that I forced that upon you. Well, no, I. I'm asking you. I'm inviting me myself to your house, like you said. I'm openly saying, if you would like a co-host for a show, hit me oh, up. Oh yeah, I'd be glad. I'd be glad to do that. For real? Yeah. Oh, that would be sick. Are you kidding me? Oh, we got yeah. Bill. If if you put plans together or you want to work on something, hit me up. I would be honored. I'm gonna still do this show if we did that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of if that happened, I would still be doing this. Specifically, actually, lately, of course. I. Uh, my current job, my current job is ending, and I uh, have invested in a laptop, and I'm going to DJ over the summer, so that way I can kind of sort of set my own hours, so I can put more time into this show. But if you, yeah. if you want to hit me up, Bill, let's do it. Let's... Are we still on? That sounds like something you would talk about out, out, outside the show. Are we still on? No, we are. Oh no, yes, we are. Sorry, no, I'm saying. Yeah, we are. Okay, we are on. <laughs> the no was no. That is something I would say. Mm -hmm. something i don't use the something i wouldn't say specifically where i work i mentioned it once because i interviewed someone from there but i genuinely generally don't just because i don't know i don't want people to talk about it this is not the focus yeah. another fun thing to do on the show is to sort of have some sort of a half and half thing where half the time you're on the show and half the time it's not going in the show and there's some sort of a can't think of how the, how the logistics of it would work. Some sort of way to game the system so you're never sure if you're on the show or not. Well, you know what? Given time. We can figure that out. We'll write a computer code for the okay. for the 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 Bill Wirtz and Scotty Madonia show. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll write a code that says we're randomly on, randomly off, and no one will know. And it'll. I be, don't know if that's as soon as I said it. I don't. I think I'm not sure if that's a good idea. It would but, probably be really difficult to watch. Yeah. But, you know, it'd be just random contacts. Is there a blank space in between or is it just... No, abs absolutely not. So no. it's just one thing that, boom, it's 20 minutes later. It's not a good idea. Um, you know. Well, well, we'll workshop it. Yeah. No, not that idea, but other different ideas. <laughs> yeah. I'm just messing around, Bill. Can I ask you yeah. a question from the live chat? Is that okay with you? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. It's a simple one. It's not anything crazy. Yeah, it's generally something I'm not prepared for. Okay, well, how about I say it out loud? And if you decide to answer, then we're good. And if it's, you don't... That's definitely something that... I mean, uh, here's what I will say about that. It's definitely something I'm not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not prepared to do. Okay, then I don't have to do it. That's why I asked. I didn't yeah. want to throw anything... I don't, like I said, yeah. I don't, don't want to try to yeah. push you too far because I know I don't, don't want to make yeah. you uncomfortable. Yeah. 
Well, Bill, we hit our limit once again. Look at that. Didn't didn't that feel good? Didn't that feel good? Uh, I'm thinking is I'm thinking I'm thinking is that is that a screw up? Should I have not should I have not said no to the live to the live Q and A? No. Why, why would the, okay. There's no reason. To, I don't think I'm I don't think I'm capable of 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 that. You just you think you would just shut down? I uh, yeah I think I've already I think the shutdown process has already begun. Well, Bill, there's just, no it's just in just in thinking about it. Well, don't think about it because guess what? I hope that's I hope that's I hope that's okay. But here's the thing: everyone knows, like you, you you've already said how these how you're getting used to this kind of thing. No one's gonna take it personally. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. No one's gonna be like, oh, Bill didn't want to. No one cares. They're gonna be like, oh, that's his thing. That's what he wants to do. They, the pre tape, the 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 pre tape live to tape like an hour before. That's the sweet spot, I think. I was gonna say this earlier when it comes to live versus. Uh, yeah, that's the sweet spot, like where you where you just don't have time to edit it, but it's it's not actually live, but you, you, it's live enough that you don't you're never gonna get like carried away. That is kind of a good. I've considered doing that, but I honestly like having the fully live thing, just personally for this show. But that is something I've yeah I've definitely thought about doing, uh, because I've you know I I kind of changed my opinion on what I want to do about yeah. the show like every six days. Yeah. Well, Bill, thank you once again for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Um. We'll talk. Let me let me say goodbye to everyone, and then we'll talk again. We can we can schedule something yeah, for the future if you'd you. like. Thank you very much. <laughs> Perfect. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Bill. Thank you to everybody who watched. Uh, we are going to be live. What's today? The seventh? I think it's the fifteenth. It's whatever next Friday is. Is the math the fourteenth? Might be the fourteenth. Um, whatever next Friday, eight o'clock is. We'll be with Sean Martin from Snarky Puppy, and then four Eastern time the Friday after that with um uh billy cobham i didn't think about it i'm getting my schedule screwed up i do this every time i gotta practice this i'll see you guys next week yeah.